My name is Leslie Williams and today's date is 4-11-2013, time is 6.22 p.m. And I am, in, I am in San Diego, California. I'm a target of what is known as organized stalking, which is also called gang stalking. And what I'm going to do is for the next five to six days, I'm going to be spending, um, uh, I'm going to probably not upload a video tomorrow. But I will be going downtown tomorrow to, uh, to, um, uh, check with the city's attorney's office concerning the citation concerning a court appearance that was uh, in a court date in reference to a court hearing that should have been processed by November 29th and wasn't. So I'm going to go down and check with them and find out what's going on with the court case. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be searching for, I'm hiking in California, I'm saving for a mobile home, and I'm a target of organized stalking, which is also called gang stalking, and it's not stalking by gangs, it's organized stalking that is hosted, protected, and managed by organized crime in the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be um, surveilling some other hiking areas to use as a backup because uh, it's been my experience that every time that I prepare to reach out for help either through a lawyer or any other avenue, they pull something big including coming to me at my hiking area using thought out schemes to make it appear that what what happens at my hiking area is being done through legitimate reasons or being done through ways that I cannot prove are happening. Because these organized stalking expeditions don't like to leave proof and the criminals they use or the people they get to use to uh, aid them will not admit that they've been solicited to do anything towards a target or a target's property. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the next few days, uh, today's the 11th, so I'll probably up until the 17th, I'm not going to be uploading many videos. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be spending time surveilling new hiking areas, maybe even moving some property to them, spending the time that I have to make in order to be able to uh, uh, make the hiking area safe for me and uh, my property. And we're going to see if any problems transpire concerning me, about me, towards me, around me, or against me, at, either at this one. Or than when I go to. Because as a result of being stalked and tracked, they know where I'm at. When I was at my last hiking area, MTS literally had the audacity to park right in front of the exit and entrance, which was about five feet off of uh, the entrance was like this, okay? Right here, like where my hand's at right now. And then my tent was down the entrance and about six feet over. So I was able to see that it was an MTS uh, mini, mini bus pulling up, and then the bus driver would open up his door and say gang stalking. And I caught it literally on video. Plus, I've had people walk by me at that hiking area and say gang stalking. And they're doing the same exact thing at this one. So what I'm doing is, um, it's just nothing but organized harassment to make you feel stalked. And um, I'm not a threat to myself or others in any way, shape, or form. I'm not involved in any illegal activity whatsoever. This crime is happening to me. <laughs> And it's protected by the system. They'll stalk into homeless shelters, motel rooms, apartments, houses, banks, postal. They stalk everywhere you go. Go to YouTube and type in gang stalking bullying on steroids. You'll see an individual being covered on the news in, in Santa Cruz in uh, February 2011. He flat out states he's harassed everywhere he goes. Okay, and they're literally having people get up on that sidewalk way up there. And they'll say gang stalking if they ride their bikes by. Okay. So, um... Uh, they've also, well, I'll put it to you this way, have they set up an individual to hike out and camp out about 300 feet away from me? And if they have, has he gaslighted me with these tactics? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend uh, at least up until the 17th or 18th of this month. Uh, I usually go to libraries and, um, and uh, use social platforms to expose the crime that's happening towards me. But there's not going to be a lot of videos or blogs made concerning what's happening to me between today's date and at least um, 4, 17, or 18, 2013. Because I'm going to be surveilling new hiking areas and possibly moving back a property to it. And uh, so if you don't see no videos online or anything, that's why I showed you a picture of myself on at the beginning of this video. So you could see that uh, uh, I'm still around. I'm not leaving San Diego County for no reason whatsoever. And that uh, this is what I've been doing with my days on the days that I've mentioned. So you won't wonder why any videos haven't been put online. Okay, gotta get. Thank you.